Hello, sisters and brothers. I just wanted to clear something up because it's frustrating when you deliver a message and people receive it or interpret it the way that they choose and twist it. I want to make it very clear that I do not believe in the once saved, always saved doctrine. When I said they will not lose no matter what, I was referring to those who are predestined, those that God chose before the foundation of the world, the elect the first fruit. That's who I was referring to. And when I said they won't lose no matter what, that doesn't mean that they're going to live a sinful life. They can't because if the seed of God remains in them, they cannot go on sinning. It says that in John 3, 9, no one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seeds remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. You know, we teach uh, repentance. We, cheat, we teach obedience and living in holiness and, you know, in sanctification and living according to God's will. So why would I, you know, say that they can do whatever they want and they will be saved? We wouldn't live like that because we have the fear of God in us. Okay. Now, whether you want to believe this or not, they are predestined from the before the foundation of the world predestined by definition it means of an outcome or course of events determined in advance by divine will or fate it is their fate this is what they were created for this time right here for the great tribulation to bring in the final harvest. No matter what the devil does, and this is what I'm saying, no matter how much they fall, no matter how much the devil persecutes them and tries to get them to, you know, walk in a different path, whatever the case is, whatever snare or cunning uh, scheme or plan that the enemy has against us, it will come to nothing because God's grace will hold us because we have been chosen for this before the foundation of the world. And in Romans 8.30, it says, And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. Okay, so this was a decision that was made before we were born. And this is one of the reasons why the devil hates us so much because he knows this. He knows that there is nothing he can do to interrupt this plan of God. You know, the Lord says, before the day was, I am he, and there is none who can deliver out of my hand. I work and who can reverse it? No one. John 17 also says they are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by, sanctify means set apart from the world. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. And you sent me in the world. I have sent them in. I'm sorry. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. Just as Jesus was chosen, so were we chosen to be in the world for a mission to complete it, and then we're going to heaven. It was our fate. It is inevitable. This is what we were destined for. Just like Yeshua, he was created to die for us, for our sins. And once he did that, he went to heaven. And now he is with the Father. Okay, um, there's another verse. I thought I put it up here. Yeah, well, I just wanted to make that very clear that those that the Father called from the beginning, those who are predestined, the elect, the chosen, they will not lose. Their fate is sealed. Okay, he already has his army, you know, set to go. These people he knew already. He, he has us written in the palm of his hand. 
I'm going to try and pull up that verse. Those are written in the palm of my hand. And, you know, people think that I'm trying to, like, boast or make it seem as if it's something that is not. I'm showing you scripture. See, I have engraved you in the palm of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. So, like I said, I don't believe in once saved, always saved. I mean... I don't even know whoever's been watching my channel would assume this from the messages that I preach. Repentance, obedience, holiness, sanctification. You can't go on sinning. You know, you can't live this type of lifestyle. There are two, there are two separate groups. Um, there's a verse that says, And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd okay the 144,000 are a separate group and these are the first fruit the one who were chosen before the foundation of the world they were predestined for this just like Yeshua Jesus Christ was predestined to come and die for us and die for our sins he was predestined for it he was chosen for it and that's why he says here John 17 they are not of the world even as I am not of it sanctify them by the truth your word is truth as you sent me in the world I have sent them into the world okay so I just wanted to make that very very clear I dislike so much when I give a confusing message. If I did confuse anybody with that, I apologize. Um, you know, I always try and make sure that I am as clear as possible. But sometimes, you know, I think I assume that people just have an understanding because of my other videos and they get my channel and what I speak about. So I feel like sometimes I don't have to break it down into simplicity every single time, but I have to always keep in mind that there are new people and sometimes they aren't, they aren't new people. They're people that's been watching me for a long time and they still get these mixed messages and I can't, I don't know, I can't understand that, but, um, I don't know, I guess I have to just always make sure that I'm very, very clear. But um, I, I would really love to think that people know that I do not believe in the once saved, always saved doctrine. But if I have to say it, then so be it. And um, I hope that this was clear. And it's not like I'm trying to, you know, put the 144,000 on a pedestal. You know, I am just saying, repeating scripture and whatever he is showing me and telling me, that's what I deliver. And if it sounds a certain way, then I, I don't think I'm going to apologize for that because that's the word of God. It is what it is. And um, that's all I can really say about that. So one last time, <laughs> one last time, I do not believe in the once saved, always saved doctrine. I don't believe it. That is a doctrine from the devil. Okay, so I hope this was clear, and um, like I said, I'm sorry for the confusion, and God bless all of you, and I will talk to you soon.